Hi everyone, it's Jill Gillespie again, and this is another restorative yoga practice video. Um, this one I'm playing with the idea of doing our postures without having to get up undowned off the floor at any point. And so um, for this particular practice, um, you will want to gather two chairs or maybe a chair and the side of your couch. Um, just something where you can put your put your leg up on either of, of the seats. Um, and if you happen to land with two, uh, two seats of varying heights, I would say have your primary seat be the one that's up a little bit higher if, if you have a taller one and a shorter one available to you. And for this practice, you will want at least two blankets. Um, I have two with me right now, but you'll probably want more than that. And then if you have a yoga bolster, great. If not, um, just grab just as many pillows as you can get your hands on and you'll just kind of build your own bolster as high as you need it for these poses. And what we'll do for this practice is um, I will lead you through our initial centering and then get you into our first um, longer pose. And then I will offer um, amount of time that you might want to hold it. And then at that time you can pause the video and just really relax into that pose once you feel settled in. And you might set a timer then so you don't just fall asleep or maybe that's what you wanna do. And then um, when your timer goes off, you can turn the video back on and then I'll help us get out of the pose and then we'll move into the next to the next pose or transition at that point. And so we'll just kind of go through that and then you, it's your body, so you stay in the poses for as long as feels comfortable on your body. Um, just know that this particular video, I'm mostly getting you into the poses and then back out of the poses, but you take as much time as you need um, in each individual pose. And then if you like, you can also um, play some music, some piano music or something just softly in the background if you like having something to listen to. Otherwise, you can take this time and just focus on your breathing and that can be fine for your mind too. All right, and so once we have um, your chair is set up or your seating set up so you have um, more than one surface that's up off the floor. We'll go ahead and find a comfortable seat on our primary chair that we want to sit in the, for the whole practice. And from here you can start, scoot it all the way up to the front of the chair or if you need some more support for your back, scoot all the way back so your enti the entire back of your body is against the back of your chair. And find the safest, most neutral placement for your body here. Just really letting your feet connect with the floor in front of you, maybe walking your feet a little forward here. And then maybe just having a soft kind of drawing in of your belly. So you have a little bit of structure here in your core. And then see if you can stack your shoulders right over your hips. And then broaden your chest. And then imagine a string pulling the top of your head away from your body. And once you find that neutral place, Rest your hands to your sides or in your lap. Maybe grab your bolster or a pillow and just rest here. Letting your eyes maybe come closed. And just tuning into your breathing. Not changing it in any way, but just noticing how the breath is moving through your body.
in this place we can notice how our energy is if we're feeling any tightness any stress anywhere Now see if you can deepen your breath just a little bit, letting your belly expand here. And letting it all out. Really signal to your body that this is a time of calm, that you have plenty of air And that you are safe here. You may continue in this place for as long as you'd like. Maybe a few more minutes. Bring your awareness back. Maybe open your eyes just a little bit here. Add some w wiggling of your toes and your fingers. Just some gentle movement in your body. And take your feet and walk them a little bit wider to allow yourself some room to come forward. As we set up for this double chair variation, of our child's pose. And so you might have all of your pillows or bolster stack in the seat in front of you here. And it's up to you to kind of decide how far apart um, you need to be from the other seat as you come into this pose. And what we're ultimately looking for is a comfortable, relaxing way to rest our forehead down onto something. And so whatever shape you end up making, just make sure that your forehead finds a place to rest. And so you might start scooting forward in your chair a little bit and finding a long spine and just leaning forward. And I'm gonna scoot my chair in here and I'll probably just lay right on my on my pillow pile here, but you can make adjustments to kind of build yourself a little ramp and just make, just make adjustments to find what the most comfortable support is for you. To really come back into stillness, into your breath. You might even Scoot a little farther back if you want more space to come down. And recruit any of the extra blankets that you need. You can cover yourself up. You can rest your hands wherever is supportive and comfortable in this place. Maybe just right on that chair seat under your pillows there or maybe under your forehead. As you set up these poses for yourself, there shouldn't be any tugging or any strain. As you come back to your breath, there shouldn't be any um, stickiness in your breathing. It should be able to flow just as it was when you were sitting up. And 
And then once you find your variation of rest, you can stay here for somewhere in the five to 10 minute range, whatever, whatever experience you want to have here. Maybe start with five and see how you're doing. And continue to breathe. And then bring your awareness back. You wiggle your fingers and your toes again here. And then begin to slowly and gently walk your hands back under your body to help push you back up to a seated position. And here you can keep your hands on the seat in front of you, or maybe you'll lift them up to your knees. And inhale and open your chest and tilt forward and up. And exhale, curl in. And just move back and forth, inhaling open. And exhaling closed. And then when you're ready, come back through center. I want to offer a pose that will get into kind of opening the sides of our body. And so you may be able to just turn sideways in your chair where you are and set up your foundation. So you have either um, the, ba the back of your chair available to you or the seat of your supportive chair next to you. And so depending on what kind of chair you're sitting in, you may do this pose in a different way. But what I'm going to do, because I have a low back chair, is I'm going to set up a side stretch over the side of my chair. And I'm going to start by just loading up a pillow or two right um, on, up my side, and just over over the back of the chair so when I lean this way I don't feel any pain or any pinching or anything and we won't hold this stretch for very long but just an opportunity to breathe into our side body for a while and so if you've set up that um, your pillow and your cushion over here then you can let your opposite arm come wide and just bring it up overhead and just rest into the side stretch here and breathe. And then if you have a chair where that is not possible, you can set your hand on your supportive chair and just side bend the other direction and just find just a gentle opening here that's a little more active because you're holding yourself up a little bit, but I'm also, I'm bending my arm into my side to kind of help support me here. And we won't stay for too long, we'll only stay for about a minute or so.
you can rest that top top arm down over your head or to your to your back here if you just need to rest it a little bit. And then when you're ready, inhale back through the center, long spine. And so if you're over your chair, you'll just lift up. And then whatever you did on the one side, plan to do on the other by turning and facing the other direction. And then setting up for that bend either over the back of your chair or setting up your hand on your supportive chair. And in these poses, as you inhale, you find more space and opening in your body. And as you exhale, you find a little bit more release. And when you're ready on this side, you lift, you'll inhale back up to center. And then come back to face between your chairs again. And now we have our pigeon pose, which works one of our legs at a time. And so you might clear your supportive chair to start to see what you might want to do here. Um, I'm going to start with an initial blanket or cushion just on the bottom of my chair for comfort because I have metal chairs here. And then we'll start by just lifting, lifting our left leg up so our shin comes into the chair. And then from this place, you may continue moving the chair around to figure out what's most supportive for you with, with this leg up. And so your ankle might stay out um, pretty far away from your body or your ankle might draw in a little bit more into your body. Your knee might be out wide, your knee might be a little bit more in front of your body. Just find a place, again, where you don't feel any pain here. And then once you've set up, we'll come again into a little bit of a forward fold. And so here the rest of the, your supports can come up to support you. So you have a place to connect um, the front of your body somewhere so it's not just floating in space. And then your butt might scoot back a little bit if you want it more space to come forward, or you might stay pretty high. Again, just work on making sure that your body is fully supported, um, even if you can't go very far forward in this pose here. And then once you've settled in, try holding it maybe for about five minutes or so. Just breathing and staying aware if your breath becomes labored. And then when you're ready, you'll 
Wiggle those fingers and toes a little bit again. And bring your hands under your body to help slowly press yourself back up to seated. And then help that leg come off your chair. And you may just have to push away your chair to give your foot room to come in in front of you. And then you might just move your knees back and forth as you prepare then for the second side. And so however long you held that first side for, plan to do that with your right leg now up in your support. So assess your legs might feel different on each side. And so bring in, bring in that chair as close as you need. Now with this leg, my knee won't come all the way down and so I'll, I may recruit some extra cushioning so my knee has support somewhere. And then your ankle can move closer or farther away, your knee can come more in front or more out wide. And then you'll set up your fold again here, finding a little bit of length and then bending forward. Making adjustments if you need to scoot your butt back or anything like that. And then returning to your breath. Letting your body release a little bit more into relaxation with each round of breath. and then set your timer and stay here. And then when you're ready, wiggle fingers and toes again to wake yourself up a little. And walk your hands under your body Maybe scoot that chair away to give your leg some room to come back down to the floor. And wiggle your knees out. And so if, if that pose, I probably should have said at the beginning, if that pose didn't ever feel comfortable in your body, you know that you don't have to do any poses that aren't feeling good. You can just fast forward and skip through anything. And now we'll prepare for our bigger relaxation pose here. And so I will move my pillows out of the way, just leaving one in my chair to start or your blanket and seeing if I can bring both of my legs up into my chair. And if that's not comfortable, you might just lean back a little and let your legs come out to the sides and just let them stretch out a little bit. If your legs do go both up in the chair, you can decide to leave your legs long, or you can bring the bottoms of your feet together and find a little bit of a butterfly shape here if that feels more comfortable. And then with an extra blanket you have, I've rolled it, I've folded mine in half, and every blanket's gonna be a little bit different, so you may have to experiment, experiment with this a little, pause the video and experiment. And then what I'm doing is I'm rolling it up into kind of a tube. And I'm gonna bring it around my neck. And so it's got some room to come down my sides here. And then the, the blanket parts down my side will be kind of my handles that kind of help me hold the blanket in place. Is then I find my lean back in my chair and so again you can throw extra pillows under any part of you that feels like it needs just a little bit more cushioning a little bit more support here you can make adjustments to how far away you are from your supportive chair and then when you're ready you should be able to just relax and the blanket with your hands on it should hopefully just help hold your head up so you're not Craning it far back. And 
as you return back to breathing again. And just finding relaxation in your body. And from here, you can set your timer for 10 or 15 minutes. Or you can just turn off the video and stay for as long as you'd like. I will bring you out of this last pose whenever you come back, if you come back. Start to deepen your breath as you bring your awareness back, filling up that belly and that chest and sighing it all out. Just really feel the air moving through your body now in this state of calm. might wiggle your fingers that have been around your blanket here. And wiggle your toes and your ankles. And then when you're ready, sit up a little bit in your back. And walk your feet apart and off the side of your supportive chair there. And then inhale your arms up overhead. Exhale them to heart center, bowing your head to look within. Sending gratitude to yourself for remembering that you need to take time to find stillness and calm. And that you've taken an opportunity to meet your practice where you are today.